Hello everyone, Dolphin Oracle back again tonight, continuing my update to Antics 3.2, now 13.2. Now this is strictly speaking a bug fix release. There are a few minor new features, some packages removed, some packages added. Uh, let's take a look at them real quick. We've got a new kernel. There's not a whole lot of changes, but there's some, including ZRAM if you're into that. We got rid of some packages that are either deprecated or or really not used very often. Now this is going to be off of the ISO if you download the new ISO. Um, if you do an update, app get dist upgrade. I'm going to find out if this stuff gets if if the stuff that's been removed gets removed or if it hangs around unless you remove it by hand. We'll find out. Uh, some of the themes that have been broken in past releases due to updates to GTK3 are being removed. And also we're adding some firmware that was missing the uh, IPW2, I believe, 2200, 2400, I think. Uh, wireless cards needed firmware that we did not have. I've also added photo print. Uh, for those of you who saw my video on printing photos from Annex, that is a welcome uh, addition. Uh, Bug fixes, connect shares, uh, got some various improvements and fixes, not the least of which is that your Windows share names can now have spaces in them. Uh, the old connect shares did not work with uh, file names with spaces. Be sure to make a new connect shares configuration file because um, there's a new format for inputting the shares so that the system could parse the information. It's all written in the connect shares config file. Maybe we'll do a new video on that just to make sure everybody's up to speed. Um, there were some repo mistakes, files, various miscellaneous fixes, some links were screwed up going to the rocks manual. Um, there's some new changes to the antics repositories in your list files um, so that um, this is to support future upgrades. There's now a script in the control center to prevent your screen from blanking. And we will we will take a look at that uh, as we walk through what's new and what's different in 13.2. Um, there's some options for li on the live side. I'll have to check this out. I'm not sure what this is going to do, except it'll hopefully slow the boot down enough so it works over an older USB connection. I'm interested in seeing what that's all about. Uh, and you can set the auto login if you're an auto loginer right from the installer. Tonight I'm not doing the install. You'll see all that if you go from the ISO from the ISO. What I'm going to do tonight is the follow the instructions down here for upgrading from 13.1 or 13 for that matter to 13.2. There are a few changes. Um, these repositories, once you do an app get disk upgrade, should be there. And I just checked, mine did upgrade. I have not gone any further. Not all of my Antics packages have updated. I've got a few uh, changes. but So I am going to be at this step here, app get update, app get disk upgrade. So let's go open up a terminal. Go super user and your U password. And it's going to be at get update. Now I know you can put these things on one line command line. I, me being human, I like to have one command at a time. All right, so it's updating. It's uh, updating the sources. We're all done. So now I'm going to do the app get dist upgrade. And this is going to be all kinds of changes. Let's see what we got. We get the new screen blanking utility. Uh, all sorts of changes to various antics utilities. Updates to the Mediterranean themes, which I highly recommend, as they don't seem to break as often with GTA 3 In fact, I haven't had them break at all. Uh, some new mouse changes, phone updates to phone books, some remaster utilities. All in all, just a whole bunch of little minor bug fix upgrades. We're only looking at 10 and a half megs. Uh, so let's go ahead and have it do its thing. Now if you're upgrading from 13.1, I will warn you, you're going to have to do the app get disk upgrade twice because once the Antic server repos changed during the first upgrade 
disk upgrade, you're going to need to do it again um, to get all these other new changes. I did this in my previous video, which was just a general app get update, app get up, disk upgrade video. It really has no difference whether you're, what the version numbers are. Um, but with the change in the repos, you have to actually do it twice because the new stuff is in the new repos, not in the old ones. Still running the default Wheezy uh, configuration, and now the antics repos are now divided into stable and testing as well. And you'll see that once we're done um, with the updates. Now, if you're if you're doing this on an install system, one thing that's not going to change. There's some new tweaked menus. Um, uh, that aren't going to be on your system. There's instructions at the home page for what to do. There's some enhancements to the menus, all three, IceWim, JWM, and Fluxbox, um, and it tells you how to copy those over. Uh, there's changes to the Connect Shares folder, and it's going to show you how to do that. There's the rocks, and particularly the rocks menu. In the rocks send to right click menu now, there's going to be a few new menu options. Probably the most handy is going to be the uh, uh, extract and compress, uh, make a new archive options. Those are pretty nice. And then we've got some options for uh, GTK2 um, and GTKRC 2.0 mine. Uh, this is handy for customizing rocks. Uh, not really that important unless you're customizing rocks. But we'll go through those one at a time once the update is complete. We also have to update the kernel. So you see it's unpacking all of its stuff. This, there's a lot to unpack even though the download wasn't very big there's a lot of files to to, uh, to unpack. I just realized that I closed that page. I won't need it for the uh, kernel installation lines because the kernel will not download. You have to do it separately. If you're 32-bit, we have a 32-bit kernel. If you're 64-bit, there's a 64-bit kernel. That's the line I'm going to copy. Let's see. Do you want to keep your connectshares.conf? I'm going to say, uh, let's see here, files provided I'm going to let it copy it because there are changes and I need to set it up again anyway. I want to let it put the new one in and the new template file too. Uh, let's see, slim.comp, I'm going to go ahead and let it do its thing here even though I might lose my customizations to slim. Uh, this may uh, we're going, we're going to let it make the changes on that. Okay, so there we go. We're good. Um, let's take a look at what's different, if anything, right now. First, I'm going to update the IceWM menu. And I know that, yes, there's going to be some cleanup to the menus. You're going to see... Um, uh, some new things and some old things. Let's see if I can find a change here. For one thing, you're going to see that Connect Shares is now in the Internet menu instead of in uh, System. Uh, you're also going to see that some items are uh, uh, some of the menus are cleaned up. All the icons are nicely done. Uh, And in preferences, a lot of the older, very, shall we call it, esoteric utilities are gone, and this menu is vastly simplified. Um, it's a good thing, as Martha Stewart would say. Okay, so we have to put in the new kernel as well. I'm going to paste in the line that I copied earlier. And now it's going to bring down... Uh, the headers and everything for this kernel. This is going to take a little while to download. It was uh, larger than I expected it to be. So I'm going to pause my video here and we'll come back when it is uh, done downloading.
Okay, we're back. It's done its thing. It's unpacked at the kernel. The kernel's in there. So then we updated, uh, I hope, updated Grub. So I'm going to reboot now. I gotta pause my video to do that. It doesn't survive a reboot. I'm on real hardware, not on a not on a virtual box. So I'm gonna reboot and see if I get the new kernel. Hello everybody, back again and after a quick update dot grub, I've got my new kernel up and running. <coughs> Pretty nice. So next step in line is to make some of these changes to our menus. Now if you don't want to change your menu, you don't really have to, but there are two changes to the menu that change the way the ICEWM menu and the Fluxbox and the JWM menus, it makes them all look a little bit the same. Now I have some custom options in mind, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to back up my menu file uh, first. Uh, let's see here, go home, and my menu file, my custom menu file is an ICEWM dot ICEWM in the home folder. Remember to show hidden folders you want to say uh, control H to show the hidden folders and I am going to select my menu and I'm going to say uh, to uh, rename it actually I'm going to copy it and now I'm going to paste it in there and I'm going to call it menu dot back And there we go. Now I have my backed up menu. So now when I copy the menu from the, they call it the skell, the skeleton version. I'll show you here in a second. Uh, that menu will, uh, I can copy my other, my custom entries back over. Okay, so what you're going to need to do, you're going to need to have a root window. So I've already got root, my root space FM window here. And I'm going, the first thing it has us copy is the menu files. So we're going to find, um, I actually uh, need to go up a level. I'm at level down. ICEWM, and we'll find the new menu. And I'll copy that. It helps to be in the right folders. Dolphin folder, ICEWM. You try to set this stuff up and it bugs you. Okay, so now we are back here with, you see menu.back, that's the one we copied. Backed it up, and we'll copy it over. And I'm going to overwrite that one. Okay, now I should have a new menu. Um, and here you go, here's the new menu. And you can see we have the applications menu, and we have all the changes that have been made. Um, again, if you started from the ISO, um, if you did 13.2 from the ISO, you're going to have some packages missing that aren't going to be missing if you do install it this way. Things like Osmo. Osmo is not in the install in the distribution anymore, but if it has it installed, the disk upgrade doesn't remove it. But it does clean up the menus. They are very nice. Very, they they are um, especially the preferences menu has been changed to to be a lot easier to deal with. Now Windows wireless drivers, if you go from the new ISO, will not be there. That is the NDIS wrapper utilities. Those are still available from the repos in Synaptic if you install from the 13.2. But if you update, it doesn't take them away. They're still there. You see that update menu is now on the main menu instead of being buried in the desktop menu. To me, this is a huge improvement. Uh, you also see that the control center appears on the menu. Now, we've got the Antics installer. This is because it's actually the installer script that edits this file when it's done. So what we need to do is we need to edit this menu to remove that. And it's down at the bottom. Control N. There it is, and all we gotta do is just delete it. So we don't need it. And now it's gone and we look we look good again. Tools, you see we're now instead of system tools, it's just tools right on top of the menu. Still got the same stuff in them. Still useful to have. But desktop settings is here. Um, you still got your panels and your conky on and offs and your space FM desktop on and offs. Terminal apps still on top. In all in all, it's a more concise menu. Now, if you had custom menu entries and you did the backup, like I've just mentioned, whoops, that's going to open them in LibreOffice. That's a little weird. Um, but you can see they're still here. Just copy them over to the new 
to the new menu file. I'm not going to worry with it right now. So we've got the new menu file. What else do we have to copy? We need that gives us the menu changes. The connect shares changes actually when I did the install I already wiped out my connect shares configuration file uh, but you can do the same thing here. Bring over the new connect shares configuration file because it has new instructions for how the new connect shares will work with the allowing shares with spaces in their name. Check that out. Uh, rocks enhancements we need to back up our rocks.config or home.config.rocks filer folder and the send to folders filer and copy the new ones over. Okay, so let's crack that open. I don't think I've actually made any changes to mine. Maybe I have. Let's see. Well, I guess I made the uh, trash can changes in a previous video. So let's see. We go to config and rocks.sourceforge.net and rocks filer. And we're supposed to copy the global <clears throat> global options and menu two files. Well, what's interesting is there's no global options. There's options and menus. I am going to copy all three of these because I really, really don't think it's going to hurt anything. Let's see. Oh, this is the scale folder. I'm in the same folder twice. That was uh, that was not bright of me. I need to go back to my home dolphin folder because one of these needs to be the files I'm going to be using. Dot config dot rocks dot sourceforge dot net. Oh, that was rocks term. Rocks rocks source force .net's down here. Rocks filer. All right, now we're going to copy these these three files over. Okay, I'm going to overwrite them. Okay. Actually, those need to be over here too. So I need to copy them back. That was my mistake. And let's see, we also need to do the send to folders. So let's go up a level and check out the send to folder. Let's see what I've got in the home send to folder. Text plane and I've got the trash can script which is not here by default. Uh, all of these things are not here so I'm going to copy them all. Except text.plane. Actually, I'm going to copy text.plane. This shouldn't hurt anything at all. Into the send to menu. Okay. That should get us our rocks changes. And then there is GTK. GTK dot mine which is here in the scale etc scale folder Etsy scale folder and it's going to go into your um, home folder okay and as far as G takes the changes why it keeps opening up in in LibreOffice I do not know we're going to close the root window and bring up this one Okay, so now if we look at the GTK, GTK that's hard to say, GTKRC 2.0 file, it's just, you see the only change is that's going to include the file we just copied over. Dot mine just says, hey, you can change the accelerator keys in rocks. Uh, well, in GTK, but in, our, in practice it's going to be rocks. So we crack open rocks, we should see some new options in the send to menu and we do there we got create archive extract archive new window is root and open with menu and trash can pretty cool I should also see yep, delete is 
with the with the with the modification to GTK uh, mine, we can uh, we'll be able to remap. Uh, if you go from the ISO, you'll find that they remap the rocks, the accelerated key for delete in rocks to delete. So that's pretty nice too. Update. I did a reboot, and when I did the video earlier, rocks didn't. I did not have the updates to rocks that showed uh, the delete key and everything. So here it is. You can see that delete is now delete. Now this happened automatically when I moved the options file over, but because I didn't re restart anything, uh, it didn't take during the video. You can also see that the send to menu now has icons in it. Now trash can is something I added earlier in an earlier video. If you want, check that out. It's pretty nice. Um, but uh, that is definitely not, not part of the antics by default. Um, anyway, check that out. I want to show that off. It is a great little update. I, it's a it's not major. There's nothing here that's 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 going to rock your world. But uh, it is nice to see the uh, uh, a bug fix update. Uh, so well done. It's very nice. Again, tips, tricks, how to's. Go to antics.mepis.org or drop us a post at antics.freeforms.org. This is Dolphin Oracle signing off. Have a great evening.